Hello, this is Matt. I'm coming from Magformers. We're talking about fun, weird, techie geometry uh, today. Now, I don't know if you remember, last time we were talking about the platonic solids. Now, um, a good 141 years after Plato, uh, in, when was it? It was in 287 BC, there's a fellow called Archimedes, okay, who looked at Plato's five platonic solids and started mucking about with them and figuring out all the different things you could do with them. He effectively started to combine them or to chop corners off or, or to, to figure out what, to change them, changing these shapes. And I want to show you three particularly cool examples. For example, what would happen if we took a tetrahedron and we chopped each corner off? Now, how to view this, I've got one of these, okay? I've got a tetrahedron, but if I, it's called truncating, you truncate the shape, and I remove one, two, three, four, what I'm left with is a shape called a truncated tetrahedron. It is one of the Archimedean solids. Archimedes, Archimedean solids. Plato, Platonic solids. Now, Archimedes, he came up with 13 of these bad boys. Beautiful looking shapes. I'm just going to show you three. So that's one of them, right? The truncated tetrahedron. The other one would be, what would happen if you combined shapes? So if you combined the cube and the octahedron together, what sort of a shape would you get? Now, the easy thing about geometry is that pretty much everything is a combination of the two sounds. So if you have to combine a cube and an octahedron, you are left with a cube octahedron. One of the Archimedean solids. Very cool. So I'll do another one. One more, last one. If I were to combine perhaps a dodecahedron and an icosahedron. Now bear in mind your dodecahedron has 12 sides and your icosahedron has 20. If I were to combine the pair of these together, I would be left with a 32-sided shape, which, as you've guessed it, is called an icosahedron. It's a bit of a mouthful but it is a particularly fun word to say. And if you tell your mates, you will not impress them. Oh yeah, I was just uh, out playing football the other day with my Icosido Decahedron. <laughs> Try that. Because you'll notice this shape looks surprisingly like a football. I've got one more over here. And if I'm very lucky, I might be able to do them both one-handed. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> I know, that's pretty good. So that is the icosahedron. So, icosid, sorry, icosidodecahedron, truncated tetrahedron, cube octahedron, just three of the 13 Archimedean solids. Right, thank you.